Hi students, good morning. I hope you all are fine. Welcome to Grade 11 Business Mathematics class. We are learning our third chapter, Analytical Geometry. So in our last class, I am not able to give the homeworks for you. So parametric form of a circle, one formula I asked you to write. I hope you all complete it. Uh, so only one problem is there in that section. So first you will complete that, okay? So example. 3.26 the parametric equation of the circle what's the circle equation x square plus y square is equal to 25 okay so find the parametric equation of the circle x square plus y square is equal to 25 so very simple question so from that you need to find the r value first so, uh, what's the parametric equation I have taught you? That is cos theta equal to x by r. That is x value r cos theta. Y is equal to r sin theta. So, we need the r value. So, from here you need to find the r value. So, x square plus y square is equal to r square. That's a form. Okay, la, la, already you have learned. So, from that you can find the r value. That is r square is equal to 25. So, if you need r value, r equal to 5. So, what are the parametric equations? Equations are x equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta. Okay, now substitute here, which implies x is equal to 5 cos theta, y is equal to 5 sin theta. The range is very very important 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 2 pi. That's all. Understand? This much only very easy. So, you find out the R value. Parametric equation x equal to R cos theta. Y is equal to R sin theta. Substitute the R values. Then, the range 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 2 pi. Understand students? Okay. First, I am giving the homeworks for you. The reason is otherwise I can't give the homework. Uh, so, take down your book for you. First, take down the homeworks. So, um, you have completed uh, first Roman and uh, second Roman. Second Roman, first problem I need to do, that one I will do. So your homework is, today's homework is exercise 3.4, problem number 5 is your homework. Okay, so this 5th five, the problem is the same as our example 3.25. So that problem is your homework and our next homework is... Um, So, fifth problem. Okay, so fifth problem is your homework. And the sixth problem also I think you can do. So, sixth problem, how will you do? So, two points are given. Ma. 1, comma 0 and 0, comma 1. Two points are given. So, what will you do? Using the general required uh, general equation, uh, you substitute 1, comma 0 first. Then, uh, you substitute 0, comma 1 first. The next, you will get two equations. Okay, then send uh, lies on a circle. It is given. Okay, so center what's the formula? Minus G comma minus F. Okay, so minus G comma minus F will be lies on X plus Y is equal to 1. So in the place of X, what you need to substitute? Minus G. In the place of Y, what you need to substitute? Minus F. So equal to 1 you will get. From the three equations you will get. If you are solving, you will get G, F and C value. So afterwards, same as this fifth problem. Understand students? So same as this fifth question. Um, in that question only one difference is I am having its center of the line it is given is it right so using these two points you know how to find the equation for this one what you need to do is center lies on the line is it right center what's the formula ma? center minus g comma minus f so in the place of x you need to substitute minus g in the place of y you need to substitute minus f equal to 1 okay so this is your third equation okay so from this you will get two equation this is a third equation so solving this three equation you will get g f and c value afterwards equation of the circle you know is it right same as with the problem you can do okay so problem number five and six is your homework. so don't forget so last uh, the i can't be able to give the homeworks because of that today first itself i gave the homework for you so please students don't um omit do the homework okay so some problems in exercise we have completed so remaining we will do it now okay so uh, whatever the problem we have leave we will do now exercise 3.4 
I think in the second Roman first problem we need to do. Okay, so second Roman first problem. Find the x square plus y square is equal to 16. Okay. So, here what will you do means, you have uh, learned one thing that is x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square. Okay. So, same thing only we are going to use here. Here the equation, given equation is somewhat different. So, because of that I have started to do. Okay. So, uh, same as an example 3.17. Okay. So, you must that one only we are going to do. So, solution given equation can be written as we can write it in the form of what's the form x minus such the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square in this form we are going to write so h and k here there is nothing is it right so zero so h minus x minus zero the whole square plus y minus 0 the whole square is equal to r square. So, right? r square means 4 square. Okay. So, directly you will find the center. Eh? Uh, this one. So, h comma k is the center. Am I right? Is or no? So, you have learned in the real point 0.7. So, here what is the h value? h comma k. Okay. That is the center. Is equal to 0 comma 0 is the center. What is the radius? Radius 4. That is the answer. 4 units. Do not forget to put so this is it. Understand students? So very easy but something the given equation is uh, somewhat slight difference because of that I started to do. Okay. So I think uh, first Roman two problems we have completed. Second Roman first problem I have uh, given now. So second, third and fourth I gave homework. So I think third problem we have lead. So third problem we will do now. Okay. Third question. <laughs> Question is find the equation of the circle center is minus three comma minus two and having circumference sixteen pi. So here one circumference is is there is it right so you know what is the circumference of a circle circumference of a circle what's the formula 2 pi r okay so from that you can find the r value is it right so we can find the r value from there so remaining everything uh, same as our uh, previous questions okay solution given Center of the circle, the value is given. Center of the circle is <coughs> minus 3 comma minus 2. Okay. Circumference, what's the circumference given? 16 pi. What's the circumference of a circle formula? 2 pi r equal to 16 pi. So pi pi cancel. So 2 r is equal to 16. What's the r value? 8. You have found out the radius. Okay. So now, shall we find the equation of a circle? Okay. We can find the equation of a circle. So equation of the circle with center minus 3 comma minus 2 and radius 8 units is what's the formula? What's the formula? x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square. So, what's the h comma k value? h comma k equal to minus 3 comma minus 2. What's the r value? 8. We are going to substitute here. Okay. So, remaining everything the same. Okay. So, substitute ma x minus of minus. So, plus 3 the whole square plus y minus of minus 2 means plus 2 the whole square is equal to r means 8 square. So, a plus b the whole square. So, x square plus 2ab means 6x plus 9 plus y square plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 64. So, bring all the terms to one side. 
so x square plus y square plus 6x plus 4y plus 13 minus 64 is equal to 0. So it symbolizes x square plus y square plus 6x plus 4y minus 51 is equal to 0. This is the answer. Understand? I am moving somewhat little bit faster. The reason is this is all the problems you have completed in example. Slight difference is there. So that's that alone I am uh, saying. Okay. So what's the difference in this problem? Circumference. So circumference of a circle, what's the formula? 2 pi. So we are using the formula here. Okay. So from that you will find the R value. So already I taught you if the equation is given. From that equation, how will you find the center? Minus G comma minus F. So here H comma K. That is the center. The point is given means we will use this one. Okay. X minus H the whole square plus Y minus K the whole square is equal to ask understand okay then uh, fourth problem shall we do the fourth one okay find Center and which passes through one point is given. Okay, so simply I am drawing one diagram. So it's a circle means this is a center. What's a center? Two comma three. Okay, so center. Okay, this is a center. So radius R is not given. So passes through one point is given. So let us take this as one comma four. Radius you don't. Know. Okay, so radius. How will you find the radius? So already you know is it right from the center? Uh, it's a constant radius so r this is a r is it right so if you find the distance between these two points shall we get this r value for that only i drawn the diagram so if you use the distance formula between these two points maybe shall we get this r yes is it right so using that you can find the r value afterwards same as the previous question you can do so radius is equal to distance between Two comma three and one comma four. Okay, so what's the distance formula? X two minus x on the whole square plus y two minus y on the whole square is it right? So you will substitute that distance formula. That is two minus one the whole square plus three minus four the whole square. So root of one square plus minus one the whole square. That's equal to one square plus one square minus two. That is root two. You will get. So that's the radius. Okay. Okay, so equation, now you have known the radius also. So equation of the circle with center already you know. Center 2 comma 3 and radius root 2. What's the formula? X minus H the whole square plus Y minus K the whole square is equal to R square. So H comma K the value is 2 comma 3. Substitute x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square is equal to root 2 the whole square a minus b the whole square so a square minus 4 x plus 4 plus y square minus 6 y plus 9 is equal to 2 bring all the terms to one side x square plus y square minus 4 x minus 6 y plus 13 minus 2 is equal to 0 This is the answer. Understand? So what's the difference here? We are using the distance formula. Please understand it and learn. Okay. So if you are understanding and learning this, this analytical geometry is very easy. You need to think little bit. Okay. So center and passing through one point is given means that's the radius. So from that you will find the radius. So if you know the radius and center, you can find the uh, equation of the circle. Okay. So that's it. Understand? So fifth problem and sixth problem I have given the homework for you. Uh, okay, already again I am reminding you. Uh, so five and six I gave the homework for you. So we need to do uh, problem number seven, right? Okay.
Sen. So, given diameter of the circle as an equation, is it right? So, first you will write the equation. Given diameter of the circle as an equation. What are given? x plus y is equal to 6. Another one, x plus 2y is equal to 4. So, to give this equation number 1, this is equation number 2. Okay. Uh, so, uh, next passes through the point also given. What's the passes through the point is given? 2 comma 6. Am I right? Okay. 2 comma 6. The one point is given. Uh, so, we need to find the center. So, how will you find the center? Ma? So, if you are solving these two equations, uh, you will get x and y value. Correct? The diameters of the circle. So, what's the diameter of the circle? If it is a center, means it's a diameter. Is it right? This is a center. So, diameter is this one. So, two equations are given. So, if you are finding, solving and finding the x and y value, you will get the center. Am I right? So, we are going to solve this two equation to find the center. Okay. So, the meaning is the center is nothing but it's a point of intersection of the diameter. Okay. So, maybe in one word they can ask. So, that's important one word is there in this question. So, if the diameter of the circle is given, if we need to find the center, the center is nothing but it's a point of intersection of a circle. diameter. Okay. Point of intersection means in 10 standard you have learned. What will you do? Just solving. That's all. So, x plus y is equal to 6. x plus 2 y is equal to 4. Solve it minus minus minus. So, this will get cancelled. You will get minus y is equal to 2. So, y is equal to minus 2. Okay. Then, substitute y is equal to minus 2 in equation number 1. Substitute there. <coughs> Minus 2 is equal to 6. So, x is equal to 6 plus 2 means x is equal to 8. So, what's the center? What's the center? 8 comma minus 2. Okay. So, radius is nothing but the distance between. Okay. So, uh, radius is nothing but previous problem I taught you. Radius is nothing but the distance between uh, center and passing through the point. Okay. So, we will use the same concept here. Okay. So, how will you find the radius? So, same as in previous question. So, substitute there. Distance formula. 8 minus 2 the whole square. Plus minus 2 minus 6 the whole square is equal to 6 square. Plus minus 8 the whole square is equal to root of 36 plus 64. That is equal to root of 100. So, you will get a 10. Okay. So, how will you find the equation? You know. Is it right? Equation of the circle. With the center what's the center 8 comma minus 2 and radius what's the radius 10 what's the formula x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square correct so x minus 8 the whole square plus y minus root minus so plus 2 the whole square is equal to 10 square. so a minus b the whole square a square minus 2 a b minus minus 16 x plus 64 plus y square plus 4 by plus 4 is equal to 100. Bring all the terms to one side. So x square plus y square minus 16x plus 4y plus 68 minus 100 is equal to 
So x square plus y square minus 16x plus 4y minus 32 is equal to 0. This is the answer. Understand? Okay. So it is this question. <coughs> then next question problem number 8. Uh, very very important question that problem is 8th problem is very very important already um, they asked in exam center okay so 8th problem is very important so we will do that <coughs>